Hello. So, you're stuck at home and you want to make sculpture. What do you do? I've got you covered. This video is about how to make sculpture at home without any special equipment or materials. All you will need is your imagination, things that you can find around the home, and of course your camera because believe me you're going to want to share what you do. There'll be great pictures. So um, first of all what it's not, well we're not going to be making uh, marble carving or a wood carving or modeling in clay. We're not going to be doing bronze and of course for many centuries and thousands of years sculpture has been bronze, wood, clay, stone, sometimes weaving and other materials for ceremonial masks. Okay, but in recent times sculptors have explored many many more possibilities and one of these possibilities is time and another possibility is the body, how to use your own body or someone else's in creating the sculpture. So the approach we're going to take today is what I call the artist model learning approach. And the artist model learning approach means that we look at an artist's work, we study it quite closely. Now artists have been doing this for a long time and the way they study other artists work to get ideas, to learn skills, the way they do this is by copying the artist's work. Yes, copying it precisely, very carefully. And this is a way of seeing the work and understanding the artist's ideas that enable the artist to then grow their own creativity, to grow their skills as well. So today we're going to use that approach and what I want to do is introduce you to an artist who is making sculptures that he calls one minute sculptures, one minute sculptures. So the sculpture doesn't take long to create, but it is held in place only for one minute. Now the artist I'm thinking of, the artist I want you to look at and study and copy is Erwin Wurm. He's an Austrian artist who's living right now in Vienna and working still. Great work. Now the links are below, so I want you to look at the pictures of his work. Now when we copy an artist's work and grow our creativity, what are we going to learn and grow today by looking at Irvin Wurm? Let's look at some examples. If we look at him and his work, what we see is he's creating quite funny poses with objects or with other people creating these funny, quite humorous, sometimes ridiculous, silly, absurd poses, usually with an object and a person or a space and a person. So what we learn by looking at his work and copying his work is we learn things about our own body awareness, about the shapes we make with our body with other objects, our relationship to space, and we'll learn to be more observant of ourselves and our environment around us. Now these have to be photographed precisely as well, very, very precisely. Look at the way he creates his photographs. Look at the space he creates around the figure. Look at the clarity he creates in the image. So when we look at the image, we focus on this funny, absurd, one minute action. Now your challenge is, to closely look at the pictures of his work in the links below, choose three of his ideas. Choose three of them and then absolutely, precisely copy them. Now at home, you're going to have to look around and see, do, you, do I have the props for these? Because I want you to find exactly the right props. So choose the three examples you're going to copy based on what you can find at home based on the space you can use at home. Maybe you need to move things apart so you get a clear space to work in. It takes a little bit of planning and patience, but also it will be great fun. When you're photographing them, look at the space around it. Look at how clear he's made the photograph so that when we look at the photograph, we instantly get this idea and we could copy it ourselves. So you're making photographs of yourself copying his work 
and the photographs we should be able to copy as well because everything you've done is very very clear be patient and plan this is one of the learning skills today the learning goal would be how do i plan a photo shoot how do i get it precisely right how do i review my photographs so that maybe i need to reshoot it so that i get just the right image so that's the challenge can you at home make three copies of Irvin Vaughan's work. Now the next stage in another video will be what about creating your own one minute sculptures. But before you get to that ability you've really got to have a look at what he's doing and understand it and try it out for yourself copying his work. I hope you enjoy this. I think his work is fantastic and so much fun. I've worked with many students on this project and I tell you they love it. It's very easy to get, so I'd like you to have a go as well. Enjoy.